five days lining up at the Busia border crossing into Uganda for clearance to move cargo up from about five hours before the COVID-19 pandemic struck. What's more, they lack social amenities like toilets and are not allowed to leave their truck at any moment. Nancy Kimoyu has the details. An endless queue of lorries snakes down the narrow tarmac road, stretching back as far as the eye can see on both sides of a sign that reads, Welcome to Busia, the gateway to East and Central Africa. Now the queue on the Kenyan side, which truck drivers say extend for upwards of 60 kilometers, take five days to clear and for them, life on the road has become literally that. Before COVID-19, Kenyan driver Joseph Kimani used to reckon with a five-hour wait to cross into Uganda with his cargo of diesel. Now he has to wait for at least five days. I'm transporting this fuel. I, I loaded from Nakuru, Kenya Pipeline Depot. Uh, that's the three days ago. Because it just took me nine hours to come from Nakuru up to this place. But since I came here, it's... Today is the third day here. We have been here on this queue now. And the queue moves at night a bit, but during the day it stops completely. It stalls. The vehicles are like this. And where we are here, as you can see, there is no, there, there is no sanitary equipment. There is no water. We don't have any toilets here. We are not provided with any, any sanitizer or anything. And nobody cares. And we sleep on the trucks because they are not allowed you to go outside because of corona. So they want you to stay on the truck and you cook on the truck. But the toilet, you just arrange yourself. You can go to the petrol station or anywhere. To cross over, drivers need to show a negative COVID-19 test taken in the previous 14 days. Failing that, they must submit to testing at the border and wait two days for the result. Busia is part of a transport corridor that extends from the port of Mombasa into landlocked nations in East and Central Africa, including Rwanda, South Sudan and Democratic Republic of Congo. On top of the inconvenience of the long delays, Busia lacks sanitary facilities and drivers say their allowances do not cover the time spent waiting in traffic queues. You are hanging less money because if they give you uh, let me say that uh, just like $400 to go to Mombasa and you stay here for so long, you spend a lot of money. Mm, for eating, yeah, even drinking, something like that. National Treasury CS Sukuri Atani says snarl-ups will be fewer once the approach road to Busia is turned into a dual carriageway, a project due for completion by 2022. Nano Cloren. TV 47.